Item number SCP-3270. Index, the painting that makes you a furry. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-3270 is to be kept within a storage locker on Site-64. All photos of SCP-3270 are to be deleted upon discovery, excluding photos of any copies of SCP-3270. Instances of SCP-3270-1 are to be kept at Site-88, but otherwise are allowed to roam the facility freely, with the exception of areas limited to Foundation personnel. Instances of SCP-3270-1 are to be fed cooked fish and milk at regular intervals. Requests for toys and other amenities are to be approved by three Class B personnel on Site-88, though requests cannot exceed 30, 30 U.S. dollars in cost. Description SCP-3270 is a painting depicting a cat resting on a pillow. Viewing SCP-3270 directly or indirectly causes the viewer to undergo various physical and mental changes over the course of several months. See document 3270-1. This effect does not apply to copies of SCP-3270, either through printing or recreation. Viewers of SCP-3270 are to be classified as instances of SCP-3270-1. Copy of SCP-3270. Document 3270-1. Initial viewing. Viewers will express admiration for SCP-3270. Viewers who viewed a copy of SCP-3270 and expressed apathy or disapproval before viewing SCP-3270 will still express admiration for SCP-3270. One hour after initial viewing, viewers will exhibit increased enthusiasm, curiosity, and generally have a more positive outlook on life. One day after initial viewing, viewers will show increased interest in felines through looking at pictures or videos of common house cats, purchasing clothing, furniture, or other objects depicting cats, or adopting pet cats. One week after initial viewing, viewers will begin recommending others begin adopting cats as pets, as well as recommend viewing SCP-3272. Three weeks after initial viewing, Viewers will begin exhibiting cat-like behavior, such as licking themselves as a substitute for more formal means of bathing, preferring to eat food on the floor, and walking using both their arms and legs. Two months after initial viewing, viewers will show increased body hair growth. Four months after initial viewing, viewers' skeletal system will begin to shrink, with their muscles and skin doing the same. Five months after initial viewing, other miscellaneous changes to the viewer's body will occur, such as ears changing shape and location, eyes restructuring to resemble those of house cats, and loss of thumbs and fingers, in place of phalanges typical of house cats. Six months after initial viewing, instances of SCP-3270-1 are physically identical to a non-anomalous house cat, though are able to still speak despite not having the needed organs to do so. The physiological effects of SCP-3270 listed above have dissipated at this point. Instances of SCP-3270-1 will have the lifespan of an average human, though are able to be terminated by normal means. Interview 3270-1 Interviewed Dr. Allison an instance of SCP-3270-1. Interviewer, Dr. Glenn Rowan. Forward, Dr. Allison willingly viewed SCP-3270. This interview was conducted eight months after initial viewing. Begin log. Dr. Glenn Rowan, why did you willingly view SCP-3270? SCP-3270-1 Curiosity, mostly. How would you describe the process of transforming into an instance of SCP-3270-1? It felt all right at first, like I'd found a new hobby. 
Then, when it got to actually turning into a cat, it got excruciatingly painful. What is your opinion on SCP-3270? It ruined my life. I'm speaking of the artistic quality of SCP-3270. Dr. Glenn Rowan passes a copy of SCP-3270 to SCP-3270-1. Oh, yeah. I guess it's cute. End log.